Hey, day eight of our One Funnel Away Challenge. My One Funnel Away Challenge. And I hope that some of you are doing it along with me. I hope you're doing it along with me. Today is day eight. It's the beginning of the stories week. This week is going to be all about stories and how we tell our stories. And I love that Russell learned from Dean Graciosi, two people I love and adore and follow, uh, a story that he was at a train, a, a, an actually a men's outing type non-network marketing, not non-internet marketing guy activities, hunting and fishing and camaraderie and things. They were having a discussion about testing your story, which is what this day's challenge is all about. Testing our story and trying it out. And they gave the example of a comedian showing up at the big show and everybody laughing at every one of their jokes, 100% of their jokes. Now, when I was in my 20s, my sister, my older sister, actually owned a comedy club. So I can really relate to this story. Some comedians would get out there and 100% of their stories would be just killer. People would laugh and crack up. They'd practically be wetting their pants. They were so engrossed in the stories and they thought the jokes were so funny. And then there'd be, that was always the headliner. It's called, the, it's actually called the hem, headliner, Dean, in not the big show, Russell. It's it's the headliner. To be a headliner, you had practiced your trade over and over and over again in smaller venues or by being the starter act or the MC at a comedy club. And sometimes the MC and the starter act, sometimes their material just plain stunk. And that's where they were testing to find out what jokes worked and what jokes didn't. What did the audience respond to? What did they not? And we're going to do the same thing with our stories. We're going to test our stories and find out what people resonate with or they like or can relate to and what they it just falls flat. They just don't get it at all. It goes right over their head. They can't relate to the experience that we personally had that we thought that was the best thing since sliced bread. And it was just this aha, earth shattering, awakening moment for us. And other people are like, yeah, that is a Tuesday. We get that. So Russell describes it as the big show. So you practice at all your stuff until you end up with 100% great material for the big show or the big stage or the big presentation. And we're going to do the same thing today. We're going to start publishing every single day. Russell challenged us to publish every single day for 365 days this next year. And I feel like I've kind of gotten the jump on this because I started publishing in earnest earlier this year with something called the Daily Scare Share. And every day I share something that stretches my comfort zone from the book. And it is right. It, I already put it away. Do one thing a day that scares you. Ah, amazing title, right? And today was actually day 288. So for 288 days in a row now, I have gone live on Facebook Live and shared a little comfort zone, comfort zone stretching activity. Something that, you know, makes me step out of the box that I've been living in. And so I'm also involved in a 365 day daily live challenge. And today was day 205 for that. So I am working on figuring out what the heck my voice is and what people want to hear and what resonates with them and testing it. And so far I've found a whole lot of crap that people don't want to hear from me. That's why I keep doing this. That's why I keep testing because I know that I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it figured out. I think that I haven't been myself enough. I've been, I've been myself, believe me, but not in a way that people can relate to. So I'm getting more into serving people and it's not so much about me anymore. It's about what do you want to know? What do you, my ideal clients want to know? What will help you grow and create and be what it is that you want to be and get my message across that way. So today it's all about publishing every day. So pick your platform. If you like to write, start a blog on Medium. If you like to talk, just talk and voice, start a podcast on Audible. If you like to do video, if you're brave enough and you're and I'm going to recommend video for everybody, even though it's scary. It's not going to kill you. If you need help with that, comment below because I will help you get going on your video. Either Facebook Live or Instagram. You can do live video on both or YouTube, whatever you want. Some of them are harder than others. Facebook Live is super simple. If Pajama Grandma can do it, you can do it. So that's it. That's it for today. Tomorrow, I don't know what our challenge is going to be, but I'm super excited. I bet we get to practice publishing and doing our story in whatever medium or format that we choose to publish every day in. So go out, pick a medium. How are you going to publish every single day? And commit to yourself. Today, it's way past my normal time. Normally, I make my videos first thing in the morning. I think it's almost 10 o'clock at night. But I committed to myself to do it every single day. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. And I encourage you to do the same.
That's it. I'll be with you tomorrow.